Welcome, this is Henrik from Visuchrome. So today we're going to talk about a new feature that was introduced in version 9.6.0. It's called RI, Return on Investment. And the purpose of these features is to be able to calculate on how much money you either save or earn, depending on how we're viewing it, uh, by automating uh, tasks and jobs internally in Visuchrome. And we're now looking at the main window, which is reached by clicking on the RI icon here. In this window, we can set a time period, the date range that you see here. And when you have set this period, you will see the uh, amount of money or time that you have saved during this period. And um, you can group these by uh, day or week. Uh, depending on how much data you have. And you can also show this in a accumulated value so you can see how this has increased over time. There is also a um, job grid where you can see a top list of the uh, existing jobs that are uh, where you calculate these values on. So you can see the amount of money uh, saved and the out amount of time saved here during a given time period. These are based on some basic settings that you see and can set here. So the first one is the currency. Um, the other two settings here are for new jobs that are created. So the calculation is pretty simple here. So first you define um, time uh, the time that uh, you will save uh, each time uh, when a job is running. So, for example, we can set this to, well, each time I run uh, this job, uh, we will save or earn 10 minutes. And uh, this could be uh, combined with a rate, let's say $60 an hour. So um, each time uh, a job will run, it will... Um, um, save you ten dollars and you can select that you only want to um, uh, store the successful executions uh, so it will skip every time a job fails it will log to the database and if you have some existing jobs you can do these kind of bulk updates uh, against them uh, by checking certain jobs here and then click on update jobs uh, we can look at uh, how it looks like on a job level. So on job level, it looks like this. You can go to our RI tab here. You can see all previous executions here, which one has failed or succeeded. Uh, we can jump to another execution here. We will not see a difference in the, uh, the last uh, amount that we saved for this specific job because we have used the same amount for each execution. But we can see the range, we can see the time period, and for this time period we have some values, how many times it has run, uh, the maximum we saved for each, and um, the average and the median value, etc. And um, you can um, group this the same way here by week and day and month. Um, you can uh, accumulate this over time as well. So you can see this increasing. I can show you how you can override this as well. Uh, so I was talking about default settings. And we can use default settings on each job, but in this uh, specific job we have chosen to override the default settings we have each uh, it will, you will earn 10 minutes or save 10 minutes and um, uh, for each hour it we will bill it uh, 49 dollars and as i mentioned this is based on the settings here in um, um, how long time we store it here in the database settings so uh, by default, uh, we log all data to a local uh, database, but we can use an external one as well. 
and this specific data is stored in the job log so here we can see that um, we store this data for 60 days and you can of course change this and fine tune it to a maximum number of rows that we store before a cleanup so we hope that we will find this uh, feature uh, useful to be able to do some more calculations on um, the return of investment of Vishikron. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.